What is up guys? Erwin here at Building 8 Media. We are going over a new video talking about yet again microphones. This is actually uh, kind of a different type of video. Normally I'm always trying to concentrate on like higher quality microphones and things like that. But this time we're gonna be talking about cheap microphones. Specifically, we have this one here, it's called the Artman and I don't remember the exact model name, but it's a microphone made by Artman. Super cheap, only 25 bucks or so on Amazon. And I'm curious how this actually sounds and when would we actually be using a cheap microphone like this? Like what, what's, what's, what's a good one? Okay, so full disclosure, the name of this microphone, Artman, the company, they actually contacted me and asked if I wouldn't mind doing a review for them. They didn't say it had to be positive or had to be whatever. They did not give this microphone to us for free. Um, they did give it to us for like a 50% off discount. So it ended up being right around like 11 or 12 bucks or something. Um, normally, like I said, it's about 25. Uh, link, it will be posted below. So go ahead and feel free to click on it. Um, so anyways, with that said, now we can actually start talking about it. This is a pretty basic microphone. You're really not gonna find a lot of features on here. Actually, this cable doesn't even come off. It just kind of stays there, um, which is pretty crazy these days. So you figure, when would you actually be using a microphone like this? Because let me tell you, on their website, if you check the actual like Amazon um, product page, it has this thing on like a C100 and a couple other cinema cameras. And it's like, I don't think you're actually gonna use this microphone on those cameras. But then I started thinking that there actually is kind of a good use for this. Other than the having like kind of a, a backup microphone or something you can just throw in your bag just in case for whatever reason something happens, you just have something you know backed up ready to go. In reality, what I would do is let's say, for example, on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, the internal microphone is horrendously bad on that, right? So I would put this on that camera and use that as the, as the main microphone, that actually would be pretty awesome. And we can actually just kind of put that on there and do a quick test um, to compare the internal microphone versus something like this. And we'll see how it sounds. All right, so this is how the microphone sounds on the internal camera, uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. As you can see, it really doesn't sound very good. Um, I would definitely want to replace it with something else. So now let's see how the uh, microphone sounds. Okay, so now you're hearing me from the Artman microphone. Um, I actually had to come back into the studio and redo this because when I got home, I realized that I actually had the microphone settings wrong on the camera. Um, so I had to come back, redo them, switch them up. They're good to go now. So you should be hearing me much better than, than the internal microphone. So this is how it sounds, better than the internals. So when we did the trailer for our short film last year, um, it was the experience was awesome, but the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera is a camera we used, and it was really annoying to, well, thank goodness we didn't have to sync up a lot of audio in that. We did use like a separate microphone, and we just kind of put it in afterwards, and there we didn't record any like actual dialogue, so we were pretty much fine, but I would have loved to have had this on there just as a reference microphone, something that we could pick up audio that's way better than the internal uh, microphone that's on that camera. So I actually would use this microphone quite a bit if I was doing uh, work like that where I just needed a reference microphone, something cheap that you can just put on there. You know it's gonna give you decent audio. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be the best. You just have to hear the clapboard, you just have to pick up some, some noise that's going on in the background and be able to, to pick up the dialogue. So this microphone is actually kind of perfect for that. It's super cheap. It does the trick, actually. One of the things that I didn't say, it's got the, uh, starts off at zero, and then we go off, and then we do have a plus 20 decibels, which, to be honest, when I was testing this, I kind of just kept it on there the whole time, and it seems to be working just fine. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this microphone for anyone's first microphone. Like if you just got your first camera and you need a microphone, I wouldn't say get this. So anyways, I hope I was able to help you guys out. I'll leave a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Corporation, guess you be one Swedish boy you need.